absolutely. I mean, you know, it, there's been legislation that was built in place since 2012 for impact and baseline testing. Um, so right now we're focusing on our collision and our contact sport athletes. Uh, you know, the education, safety, understanding of what these sports, what they can do to you and what the risk is, but having the opportunity to recover and the surveillance from the University of Miami has been terrific for us. But yes, I think statewide, this needs to be something that's available um, to all of our student athletes, just, you know, so there's a specific comfort level for families when they're coming into these sports. Have you reached out to any of the other counties, um, other families, districts, district, county to county? Have you reached out to any of the other counties and they seem like they would be something that they would be on board with? Well, you know, our local counties, Broward and Dade, you know, have a protocol in place. Orange County already has a has a protocol, but there are things when we have our statewide county athletic directors meetings, these things are discussed and we talk about what we're doing in our counties and I think that you know, fortune that we have of working with the University of Miami and the Miami Dolphins is something that's unique and I think that's something that a lot of people wish they had access to. Has there been a school that said no to any of this? No. Or they all been on board, right? They've all been on board okay. with it, yes. So, and again, making sure that the student athletes are well taken care of, can be treated quickly, and can return to play just as quickly yeah. as we know. We live in a statistics age, kids need to get back out on the field, so making sure that they're available and ready to play is very important to us.